Hi everyone, my name is Mateus, and today we're going to talk about video games. Blizzard has announced that Chris Metzen, a veteran Warcraft, Starcraft, and Diablo designer, has returned to the company as a creative advisor after several years away. In a post on the World of Warcraft website, Warcraft General Manager John Height said, it is with great joy that I announce Chris Metzen has joined the Warcraft leadership team as creative advisor. Chris's focus initially will be on World of Warcraft, then his work will expand to other projects across this growing franchise. Chris was one of the original team members working on the Warcraft universe back when it began in 1994, and we are so happy to be reuniting him with the world he helped create. Metzen left Blizzard in 2016 after an almost 23-year career with the company. He was instrumental in the creation of the Warcraft universe back in the mid-90s, and has since served as creative director on numerous Blizzard projects, including his well-respected tenure as lead and writer on Warcraft 3, Reign of Chaos. He was also the creator of Overwatch's Soldier 76, and is known by fans as the voice of Thrall, one of Warcraft's most important orc characters. After leaving Blizzard, Metzen set up tabletop gaming company Warchief Gaming in 2020, which last year launched its first project, Ouroboros Coils of the Serpent. Metzen's return to Blizzard sees him reunited with the universe he created as a creative advisor. While the job initially sees him advising the World of Warcraft team, he'll eventually expand to help other projects in the franchise, presumably Hearthstone. Hideo Kojima is hoping to provide more information on a completely new game he's making next year. On Friday the Kojima Productions boss provided a brief update on what the studio is working on in a video message released to coincide with its 7th anniversary. The company announced Death Stranding 2 at the Game Awards last week, and on Thursday it revealed that a Death Stranding film is in the works too. In addition to DS2, we are also preparing a completely new game as well as some visual projects, Kojima said in his video message. I am hoping to bring you more information on all of those next year. He also briefly showed off Kojima Productions new office. Now more than ever, we will expand our scope of creativity in this new environment, Kojima said. The game Kojima is referring to is presumably the cloud-based project he's making with Xbox, which was announced in June. Guerrilla Games is working on a Horizon Online co-op game. There's no official name yet or a release window, but the developer is hiring staff for this new project. Guerrilla Games confirmed this new entry in the Horizon series on Twitter with a job listing sheet. The open positions posting mentions the developer is hiring in Amsterdam for single-player, online, and external project teams. A new internal team is developing a separate online project set in Horizon's universe, Guerrilla Games said. Featuring a new cast of characters and a unique stylized look, friends will be able to explore the majestic wilds of Horizon together. Some of the job listings for the online project include, stylized world artist, lead combat designer, lead quest designer, player engagement designer, and principal writer. This has reportedly been cooking at Guerrilla for quite a while. In October, a Horizon multiplayer spin-off was supposedly in the works, something the developer has wanted to pursue since the original Horizon Zero Dawn. There is also reportedly a Horizon MMO in development at NCSoft. The studio has expertise in the genre as it's behind the Lineage and Guild War franchises. Sony also stated earlier this year that live service games are a part of its future plans. Guerrilla Games doesn't confirm this MMO title, but as mentioned, does list external projects in the job listing. Insomniac Games has announced that Marvel Spider-Man 2 will launch on PlayStation 5 in Fall 2023. Revealed in a PlayStation blog post, the long-awaited sequel to 2018 Spider-Man will seemingly stick to the promised 2023 release year. What a year it's been for PlayStation Studios, said Insomniac's creative director Brian Intihar. 
Here at Insomniac Games we've been in absolute awe of the work of our peers. Congrats to everyone on a successful 2022, and here's to next year being just as exciting as we continue to get Marvel Spider-Man 2 ready for release next fall. The developer reassured fans of the release window in October but, as delays are quite common in the video game industry, many were concerned that the sequel would slip into 2024. Amazon announced a new deal with developer Crystal Dynamics, which will see it publish the next entry in the long-running Tomb Raider series. Crystal Dynamics will handle development, with Amazon providing full support and publishing the game globally. The studio revealed it was working on a new Tomb Raider earlier this year as part of a showcase for Epic's Unreal Engine game-making tools. Very few details are available at the moment, but it's described as a single-player, narrative-driven adventure that continues Lara Croft's story in the Tomb Raider series. Amazon says the game, which will utilize Unreal Engine 5, will be multi-platform and is currently in early development. No word yet on when it might be released. Previously, the franchise was published by Square Enix, but the company sold off numerous properties and studios this past May, including Tomb Raider and Crystal Dynamics. Amazon's fledgling game division is probably best known for developing the MMO New World, which launched last year, but it has also been making a big push into publishing of late. At the beginning of 2022, Amazon published the Diablo-style action game Lost Ark, which is developed by Korean studio Smilegate, and at this year's Game Awards, it announced a partnership with Bandai Namco to publish the anime MMO Blue Protocol in 2023. All of those titles are live service, online games, so the Tomb Raider deal represents a somewhat new space for Amazon. Amazon Games is committed to bringing players games of the highest quality, from the best developers, across all variety of platforms and genres, and we're honored by the opportunity to work with this story developer and franchise, Christoph Hartmann, VP of Amazon Games, said of the deal in a statement. That's all the news for today, Friday, December 16, 2022. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. The links to all the subjects discussed in this video are available in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.